Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude from YouTube, and welcome to Slay the Spire. Slay the Spire 2 was just recently announced about uh, about a week ago. By the time this video goes up, and I realized that I had never played Slay the Spire one. I've never even seen anybody play it before, but I do know that it is a card-based, like, RPG game. I've been super big into Dungeons & Dragons for the last year and a half, maybe two years if it hasn't even been that. I, I like card-building games, I play Marvel Snap, so I really wanted to give this a try. And I know, for all you Ad Dev Night fans out there waiting for the ending of the game, I wanted to try something different. I was looking at my schedule for the last couple of weeks and I was like, man, I've really been playing the same games for the last two weeks. So here we are. I'm excited for Slay the Spire and Slay the Spire 2 doesn't even come out until 2025. So we've got time to get this game done. We've got time to figure out. Anyways, without further ado, let's hop right into this shit. So we're going with the Ironclad HP 80 gold 99. The remaining soldier of the Ironclads sold his soul to harness demonic energies. We got Burning Blood. At the end of combat, heals 6 HP. 5 unlocks remaining. To unlock. Okay. Alright. I don't know what any of this means. Uh, starting in a room. Okay. Well, I'm right handed, so we're gonna go right. We're gonna go far right. Defeat enemies by playing cards from your hand. Cards require energy to play. Once you are out, end your turn. At the start of your turn, new cards are drawn and your energy is replenished. Play defensive cards to gain block when enemies are about to attack you. Block reduces incoming attack, excuse me, attack damage, but wears off at the start of your next turn. During your turn, you can observe an enemy's intent above them. If an enemy is intent on attacking you, be sure to gain some block. I'm not ready, but all right, let's do it. Uh. Hit, hit him with a, hit, uh, oh, hit him with a, hey guy, and another, hey guy, and another, hey guy. And then we discard pile, my energy draw pile, okay. Ritual. At the end of its turn, gains three strength. Well, that's not good. So it has the intent to attack us. We're gonna wanna gain five block. And then let's bash him. Bash him. Oh, <laughs> I ran out of energy. When it does hit us, we only take one damage. There we go, that's not that bad. Compared to half my damage being gone, I'd say that's pretty good. No cards? If there are no cards to draw, you're discard pile is shuffled into the draw pile that's simple enough oh okay it's got the intent to attack us with nine next turn so we're just gonna use both of our blocks and then strike with six simple okay it's pretty simple i i fucks with it <laughs> vulnerable wears off oh my god it's gonna attack us for 12 we can withstand 12 attack. Not if we kill it first! Oh! Oh! Do I have to pick my rewards? I'd rather add a card to my deck. Or, oh, I should have. Damn it. Are these the cards that I'm choosing? Okay. You I. That's okay. That was my first time. I had no idea what I was doing. But from now on, if I do select, pick a new card to add to your deck, it gives me three options. I pick those three options. Those are not the three options, or those are not the three cards that I'm getting. Moving on. <laughs> Slimes? More like dying. Die dines. This one's gonna attack us, but we gotta kill it. Bop, you're done. And I'm gonna, oh. Yes, I know how my energy cost works. Wait, what is this guy doing? This enemy intends to inflict negative effect on you. Does my block do anything for that? 
Okay. Ew, don't lick me. <laughs> don't lick me. What the fuck? Don't do that. Enemy loses two strength exhaust. Oh, that's the new card that I got. Well, I don't have any block, so I'm just going to strike you until I have no more attack left. But that's okay. Eight damage is nothing. Oh, no. Boom. You're dead. Give me my gold. <clears throat> and let's add a card to our deck. Gain five block, deal five damage. That could come in handy. Gain five block, upgrade a card in your hand for the rest of combat. Ooh. These are both really good. Gain two strength at the end of the turn, lose two strength. No, I think I'm either gonna go with one of these. I really like this one. Okay. I see now, I, I get it, okay. Oh, that's exciting. This game has so much replayability too. All right, this enemy intends to attack for 11. Well, it would be nice if I had my new ability. Boom! Haha, -ha, you're weak. Get fucked. All right. Wait. Okay. All right. I see how that works. Just dust that off. No biggie. What is this? The enemy intends to block and use a buff. Strength, strength adds additional damage to attacks. Remove until... Okay, I don't know if that was a good move, but it felt good. Boom. Oh, he had the block. No. Shit. Shit. <laughs> that is okay. That's all right. Only gonna take, what was that? Seven damage. Bash him. Bash him to death. 16 gold. Deal damage equal to your block. Deal four damage and apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Draw one card, put a card from your hand on the top pile. You draw exhaust. I'm gonna go with deal damage equals to your block. That one seems the most useful in my position right now. A strange blue humanoid with a golden helm approaches you with a huge smile. Hello, friend. I'm a cleric. Are you interested in my services? The creature shouts loudly. Why would I want to remove a card from my deck? Unless there's a limit. Heal me up, G. Heal me up. A warm golden glow or warm golden light envelops your body and dissipates. The creature grins. Cleric best healer. Oh, wait, 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 he said that. Cleric, best healer, have a good day. All right. Well, that's that. As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. No, upon closer inspection, they are tied to a string. They are tied to strings coming from holes in the ceiling. There is a quiet cackling from above as you approach this object. What do you do? Max HP. You eat the donut. It really hits the spot. Your max HP increases. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't need the rest spot. I'm going to have to fight an elite either way. So I might as well just take this path. And if I need a rest, there's another one. What the fuck is that? 109 health. That's okay. I got that. We got this. We're all good. We're chilling. The enemy is asleep. At the end of its turn, gains eight block. Okay. Bop! Bop! Good morning! God, you are ugly. And it's stunned? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. 
Wait, no, I... That is not what I meant to do. I thought that it was going to apply it to the attack. And then I was going to put block on myself. Because I have all these blocks here and... Fuck. Damn it! That was a waste of a card. Ow! Why do you have to hit so hard? I gotta start dealing some kind of damage to it. I know blocking is important, but I think once I get down to half health is when I really start blocking. What is that? The enemy intends to do negative. Okay, all right, whatever. Uh, so this time I'm going to apply the block and then we're gonna deal damage equal to that block. That felt so useless. That felt so pointless. Do I get more energy? Do I obtain more energy? Because if I can play more cards, then I can play more blocks. And then once I play more blocks, I can then deal more damage. But right now, that feels so pointless to have. We are both on equal footing in terms of strength. Or I mean, in terms of health. So I really got to play this smart. Like, seriously. Fuck! Fuck! This thing has less than half health, but so do I. Fuck! Shit! Shit! No! I might lose this. Oh wait, this is a negative effect. Okay, so we can just start wailing. Use that, and then... Use... Use that, and then use that. Boom, boom. Okay, that card didn't feel as useless as I as it felt before. And now my strength. Is God, this is horrible. This is horrible. I'm gonna deal with that. He won't hit for so much if I lower his strength. That did nothing. I'm sorry. We're definitely gonna lose. We're losing. Oh my god. No. I'm down to one HP. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so nervous right now. Bop, bop, in my turn. He's just gonna lower my strength. But it'll be okay. Because. Because. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, yes! Ah, <laughs> uh, win a battle with one HP remaining. Oh my god. Don't ask me how I did that. Don't ask me how. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Okay, sure. Okay. Wow. Lose two HP at the... These are both really good cards. Do I wanna... Ooh, gain seven block exhaust one card at random. So this one is a high risk, high reward right here because in my mind, the play that I would like to make with this card is if I gain seven block, that's only one out of three of my um, energies being exhausted. So then I apply a block card, which I think is like, what? Six block? Five block? It's five block. So that's five and seven. And then I deal the damage that equals my block. That's 12 damage right there, which is almost equal to how many HP I would, or how many damage, how much damage I would be doing, but then it's a high risk because the one random card that I could be exhausting could be my deal damage equal to my block. And then if I get too comfortable with this card, I could forget about my HP and just start I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna. We need a rest. 
heal 30% of your HP. 30%?! And it's an either or situation too? You either heal or you upgrade your cards? That's horrible! Oh my god! Dude! Can I go back? Can I turn back? Uh, damn! Spore Cloud. On death applies... Applies too vulnerable. Shit, and they're both gonna hit for six. Okay, yeah, I should have seen that one coming. But that's okay, because I can now strike this one down. And then... I'll take the block, deal six damage here. Oh, but now he's hitting for nine! The enemy intends to use a buff. That's fine. I'll... Him. Got him! Bash him to death! Hell yeah! Gain five block, deal five attack. I already got that card. I want to get new cards. Apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies exhaust. Uh, whatever you play, whenever you play an attack, this turn, gain three block. That could come in handy! Ooh, and it's zero in- Yes! Yes! Why wouldn't- Yes! All right, there's three treasure chests. This way gets me mysteries. So I'm gonna go this way. Incense burner. Every turn, every six turns, gain one intangible. Reduce all damage taken and HP loss to one. Okay. Cool. Hello, tiny creatures. This enemy's intentions are unknown, not attacking. <laughs> he's kind of just here. He doesn't know what he's really doing here. I'm, I'm kind of just following these guys. This one intends to block. This one intends to attack. Okay. So. I really have to be careful with my health. Just get rid of that one real quick. Because that one is only going to do four damage. Not that bad. Compared to nine? No, thank you. This one's charging up. So I should probably take this thing down too. Gain five block, deal four damage. Okay, that has me set for that. And then I'm not gonna be able to get rid of him before he does whatever he's gonna do. But at least I'm blocking. Oh! Here it comes. How about no? How about oh, oh no 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 no? How about no? How about a big fat no? <laughs> yeah. Took care of that one. This card is so useful. Yes! And we'll just throw a block on there for fun. Yes! That card is so useful! Because I haven't taken any damage. Oh, never mind. My block wore off. Um, then we can kind of just start wailing. Well, I guess maybe not. Boom, bitch! Woo! Gain five strength at the end of the turn. Is this a relic? Oh, wait. When do I get to use these? The card applies a power to you when used. Uh, powers are passive abilities that remain for the duration of the battle. 
At the end of your turn, gain three block. Hmm. I could really use another one of those cards, but I'm going for new cards. I am going to go with Armaments. Armaments? I'm going to go with that card. Jeez, can I get some health? We're going to go with a Rage. Rah! And then we're going to... Gonna deal. We gotta deal some massive damage to this guy. Oh, I'm out of energy. Fuck! Shit! He's gonna hit me for four. No! Hey, yo, give it back! Gain three block, upgrade a card. Yes. Yes. He's blocking this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the 15 damage on you. That felt like nothing. <laughs> this is probably a big mistake. Yep. 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 What is that? The enemy intends to escape! No, you don't! I said, no, you... No. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, no, you don't! Give me my money back, bitch! Um... And then... <gasps> no, but that's gonna kill me! No! No! Oh, no! I would have been better off fucking... No, I wouldn't, though. Yes, I would. Oh, no. Dude, I was doing so good. New character. Okay. The Silent. 70 HP, 99 gold, a deadly huntress from the Foglands. Eradicates foes with daggers and poisons. Ring of the Snake. At the start of each combat, draw two additional cards. I kind of like the Ironclad. We'll give the silent a try though, because we, we kind of need to use the one before to unlock the next one. Ah, damn! What the hell? Act one, ex exordium. Greetings, I am Neo. Neo. I brought you back. Enemies in your next combat have one HP. Huh? Oh! 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 Nah, we're gonna do max HP. We need all the health we can get. Granted. All right, let's take a look at the branching paths that we can take. This one's got more mystery sections. So I think I'm gonna go this way. Oh, but this one's got a lot of treasure. I'm gonna take the mystery paths. Battle start! Whoa, I have so many cards. Deal three damage, apply one week. Deal six damage, gain five block, six. Gain eight block, discard one card. I feel as though I kind of have to use this. He's gonna attack me for eight. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll go with that. And then... Six damage to you. Simple. There you go, licking me again. I told you about that shit. Now I gotta kill you. I'm sorry I have to do this to you, but now I have to kill you. I told you about licking me. Don't lick me. <laughs> Simple. Explosive potion? Damn! All right, what do we got here? Casts, costs one additional energy. For each time you lose HP, this combat deals 12 damage. Or this combat, deal 12 damage. Deal eight damage, draw one card. Oh, I gotta take that. That card was nice, but I gotta take it. Among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate, large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there's more inside. Remove a card from your deck, lose seven HP. 
Card with 10 or more damage. No! We gotta leave. The statue makes you feel uneasy. You walk past and continue onward. It didn't make me feel uneasy. I'm not a bitch. I just didn't have the requirements. As you walk into the room, you hear a gurgling and the grinding of metals. Before you is a slime-like creature that ate too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the creature, uh, you see glints of strange light. Perhaps something magical. It looks like you can get treasures if you reach inside its opening. However, the acid and sharp objects may hurt. It's 3 HP. No biggie. Ouch! All you find is corroded metal and... You're still convinced there's a relic? Yay! We got a relic! <laughs> After rummaging through the metal and burning acid, you finally grab hold of a relic and yank it out. You pull out ooze damage, but okay. So what was the relic? Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered with questions in the room. Oh! So that means that this isn't going to be a normal encounter, but it could still be an elite, maybe? I don't know. Oh, welcome. Ooh. Ooh. I don't really have the gold for any of this, but hey. I'm debating between Sneaky Strike and Endless Agony. Endless Agony deals four damage whenever you draw this card and adds a copy into your hand. So that means that after this card has been played, it'll add another one to your hand. I don't think that... I don't think that it deals four H four damage oh it deals four damage but whenever you draw it it adds a copy into your hand so that means if it starts in your hand and you play it it only does the shut up i'm deciding this is a big moment um so if you play if you start the game with the card in your hand it will not add a copy but if you draw it then it adds a copy and okay all right i get that got it and it's zero energy too but this is 12 damage and if i discarded a card that turn then it gives me two energy i don't have the gold for both okay all right all right boom this will be easy i got this one HP, not that bad. Not that bad. Tends to block and use a buff. Oh, come on! Oh! Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Bop, 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 bop. Ooh, that was a good play right there. Y'all saw me? Y'all see that? That was a good play. Block for five. Feel that. Two damage, not that bad. And then just kill it. Easy peasy, no big deasy. Gain five regen. Regen heals HP at the end of your turn. Each turn regen is reduced by one. Okay. Playing as the, playing as the silent is really good. The silent has some pretty damn cool abilities. My powers were matched. Add three shiv plus to your hand. Deal six damage for each attack played this turn. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. I do want that. Now. I need the HP. But I have yet to... Can I go back to the map? Can I see what's ahead of me? Because if there's another rest spot close by, I need the HP. My cards have been really good to me so far, and I know that upgrading would be a very important thing to do. But with how good the cards that I have are, I don't think that I'm going to need to upgrade anything anytime soon. So I'm going to save that for the next rest spot that I find.
Yeah, which isn't too far away. If I go this way, it won't be too far. Yeah. Yeah. That's not bad at all. I got that. We're gonna go bop. Bop. Yo, eight damage to you. In a card. A blue ski. Yeah. It's as simple as one, two, three. Now, what did I, what did I tell you about licking me? What did, I, what did I tell you? Because you know what I got to do now, right? You know that I have to kill you. Oh! I was like, what the fuck do you mean split? I'm really gonna cross my fingers here. Please, 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 please discard the defend. Yes! Boom! Woo! <laughs> okay. It's between these two cards here dagger throw and ta tactician. Tactician is unplayable, but. If the card is discarded from my hand, I gain energy. Which I again, I don't know if there's a limit on how many cards I can hold, but right now this isn't too bad of a card because as long as it's in my hand and I don't use it, then I gain energy for the ne next turn. Which I don't know if energy stacks. Could I have 4 energy? I'm going to go with that card just to just to see. Hey, gold. The first time you lose HP, each combat, draw three cards. Okay. All right. I got to battle an elite if I want to get to the rest spot, which I'm not ready for. But you know what? Fuck it, we ball. What the hell is that? All right, we got this. Attack the ones going to attack us. This was stupid. That wasn't so stupid. That played out in my favor quite well, actually. What the hell? What are you doing to my cards? Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh shit the smart thing to do would be to block but i'm not the smartest so instead i'm gonna do this that and then that and then i'm going to use this on you which wasn't a bad choice Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I can get with that. Ethereal. If this card is in your hand at the end of the turn, it is exhausted. Exhausted cards are removed from your deck until the end of combat. I don't know why that's such a big deal to have. Boom. 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 We're making it to the top of the spire. Boom, bitch! The next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. Choose one or three random attack cards to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aw, man. Aw, man. I certainly could have used this one. I'll discard that. I know, you're probably gonna yell at me. I don't... <laughs> I don't care. Look at that! Add three ships to your hand. Look at that. I got the, the... The relic that I got rid of is now a card in my hand. So we're all good. We're set. We're chilling. 
Let's see. Got four shields. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. See, I really like the Endless Agony card because it costs zero and it does quite a bit of damage. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade that card. I like that choice. I'm, I'm okay with that. This is light work. Bro, give me a challenge. These enemies are light work right here. Boom. Boom. You're joking! You're kidding! Look at how much this is! 189 gold! Look at how much I've got! You're joking with me right now! That is such a good card too! Upgrade all your cards for the rest of combat. That is such a good card! I'm gonna go with the bandage up. And then I've still got some money to spend... This says deal 7 damage X times. Which, if I think about it properly... X means 10. It's the Roman numeral for 10. But then it also says X energy. And I don't think there's a way for you to get 10 energy. So I'm going to buy this just to see what it's all about. I'm a curious bitch. What can I say? And then, because of our... Uh, what is it called? The... The... The, the thingy. I'm going to call it a rune. The, the, the Normal enemy combats are no longer encountered with question rooms. So... That means that we can encounter this room, and it's not going to be an enemy. You fall into a puddle. It's made of slime goop. Frantically, you claw yourself out several minutes as you feel... Over several minutes as you feel goop starting to burn. You can feel goop in your ears, goop in your nose, goop everywhere. Climbing out, you notice that some of your gold is missing. Looking back, the puddle, at the, looking back to the puddle, you see your missing coins combining with gold from unfortunate adventures mixed together. Yeah, I'm almost near a, a spot, so you managed to fish out your gold. Sweet. And then we're going to rest, because there's no way I'm upgrading my weapons when I have 25 health and I've made it to the top of the spire. I'm definitely not surviving, but we sure as hell are going to try. 240 health? Oh, no. Oh, no. He's blocking, so I can deal some significant damage. Boom. 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 Oh! Um. Um. Drink that. Throw that. What the hell is that? Oh. Oh, I see. Drink that. Okay, that was kind of pointless. Okay. He's going to attack for nine, which is not as much as I thought it was going to do. Boom. Ow. What the hell? Whenever you play an attack, take three damage. What the fuck? I'm nervous, <laughs> but I'm so excited. Uh, okay. Is it worth taking damage for? I do have regen. Does he still have the sharp hide is still applied? Eight times two? I don't have any block cards either. I thought I was supposed to draw two additional cards. Ow! Five times four? <laughs> No! You can't do this to me! Oh, I see. That takes up all of my... Okay. I see. Alright. That was a really bad choice. 
Ow. Please don't destroy me. Oh, no! No! Nothing can save me from this! God. What is that? The enemy is just using a negative effect. <laughs> Nothing can save me from this. I think I think we're done. We're done for. I'm dead. Yeah, we're dead. Ah, oh, damn it, man. That was a really good run. That was really good. I like the new character. Yay. What's this character's deal? The Defect. 75 HP, 99 gold, a combat automaton, which became self-aware. Ancient technology allows the manipulation of orbs. Cracked core at the start of each combat, channel one lightning. Okay. All right, well, considering I've been recording for an hour, I need to stop playing because <laughs> this video might end up being like 50 minutes long. I'm really enjoying this. I can see why I can see why it received a sequel or why, you know, it's it's so well received in general. I actually enjoy this game. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of strategy. If you really think about your next move, each character does something completely different. So it makes it feel fresh each time you play. I think next time I play, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna play the uh, the defect, and then whatever we unlock after that, we're gonna play that, and then I'll choose whoever I think you know could help me win the most. I don't know, but I'm excited to get into this. I'm excited to to slay the spire. I'm excited to get to the end. If you're new around here, subscribe. It's free. We're on the road to 500 subscribers. We're almost there. So I mean, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your dog. If you want to see my last video, which was uh, Supermarket Simulator, that'll be linked somewhere around here. And then I'll let YouTube decide what you guys watch next, which will also be linked somewhere around here. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. I keep fucking up my outro. I'm going to get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out.